Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at population and resources. Carrying capacities. First we'll begin at looking at what carrying capacities are. The more resources a country is going to have, the more people it can support because it has more resources people can use for energy or use for substance to eat and to drink with, so more people can be sustained and live in that population. The carrying capacity is the largest population of a people that can be inside a country or a population, which that population can then support at a given level of technological development. Technological advances in the country produce more and more um, resources, which then allow more people to live. For example, if we have a look at a country such as the US, there are a lot of resources in that country. There's a lot of coal and a lot of farming area to be able to sustain a high population. Therefore, the US has a really, really high population. However, if we look at another country such as Luxembourg, uh, there isn't much farming area there and it's very small. There's not much water and they don't have many resources at all. That's why the population of Luxembourg is less dense per capita, pretty much, rather than the USA, because it's much smaller and doesn't have the resources to have such a large carrying capacity. Over and underpopulation. An area that is overpopulated is an area when, when there's an increase in population, which then leads to a decrease in the quality of life of that population. That's because as more people will come into the population, quality of life will decrease because there's going to be more pressure on resources for everyone there. Underpopulation is when an increase in the population will then increase quality of life because more people can um, share out the resources and there's better welfare in total. Then we can see an optimum population and this is when the population is at, um, the quality of life is at the highest given level given a certain stage of technological development as well. Problems with population growth. Population growth is great. It can help you, uh, you know, be a much better economy and produce a lot more. However, it does involve you consuming a lot of resources and that is going to have its drawbacks. It can cause a number of problems such as famine, extra pollution, and war and conflict over those resources. Sustainable development. To avoid these problems, a lot of countries try to limit consumption by making the development of such resources sustainable. Now what this means is that sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the current generation without compromising the needs of future generations to come. Equally, sustainable consumption will then reduce the amount of resources consumed by population, hence making it a much better place to live and the population pressures on that area won't be as severe, so as a result everyone is much happier. Here you have some questions. Pause the video and have a go at attempting these and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which is all about population theories. This is a huge part of the course, so I really advise you to check it out. However, if you didn't get them right, be sure to rewind the video or visit www.revisealevel.co.uk where there's tons more information for all geography and a load of more A-level subjects as well. So be sure to check that out. Until then, I will see you next time and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.